What's up, everyone? All right, well, uh, it's about 10.30, and I'm done for the day. I'm shutting it down a little on the earlier side today. No reason to overtrade. I'm up $40,000, and you know what? Today was a little bit of a close call because on my, well, my first trade um, on the day was on EKSO. That was pre-market. So I was up about, gosh, 4,000 or 5,000, maybe even more just pre-market. might even been closer to 10. Um, I have to go back and check. But in any case, some nice trades on EKSO pre-market. The bell rings, got a couple more trades, and a nice red to green move. So I made about 20, 18, 20 thousand dollars initially on it, and then another six or seven thousand a little later in the morning. So that put me up 20, but then I was trading I and O at the same time, uh, or sort of in between. And on that one, I actually ended up losing 8,000. Three or four trades, red on all of them. And so at that point, I was like, all right, I'm done with this stock. But I was up uh, maybe 10 or 12,000. And I was kind of like, all right, this is a good day, but it's not crazy good. I might want to just step back, you know, not over trade, not push my luck, not try to go for a $40,000, $50,000 day. And then APVO did a break of VWAP setup. I jumped into that, 22,000 shares. 23, 24, max size 25,000. We got a full dollar plus a share, made $23,000 right on that trade. And that put me up 40,000 on the day. So ended up being a really good day thanks to that last trade. But you know, of course, um, the last trade, if it goes the wrong way, could also give back half my profit and like it did yesterday, and then I have to be done for the day. So yesterday, that's what happened. Today, it went in my favor and ended up doubling my daily gains, a little more than doubling. So solid day. I hope you guys enjoy the recap. It's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. We're going to try to finish up the week strong, and I'll see you guys back here first thing Friday morning. All right? Make sure you tune in. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button so you can watch my pre-market watch list. We'll be live streaming right around 9 a.m. All right. See you guys in the morning. Right, you guys so let's see uh, we're gonna do our recap from today so this is where I sit here forty thousand five hundred twenty two dollars and eighty six cents another solid day definitely trading with bigger share size today Wow well, PHF or PHCF I was kind of watching this one back down in this area because it was uh, a pretty clear fat flat bottom so I might actually add this to the classes. Um, so sometimes I'll just grab these for a quick screenshot. So let's see, we'll move that like this. So flat bottom setups and flat top setups, um, essentially what you're seeing is a very well-defined level of either support or resistance. Now, if the stock breaks that level to the downside, it's breaking support and that's showing a lot of weakness. And so that usually would be a short setup to short a flat bottom breakdown. It's usually a long setup to buy a flat top breakout, but you can buy if the support level doesn't break and you can short if the resistance level doesn't break. So in this case, you got a full dollar a share off the low from four back up to five. Now it's a break of VWAP setup, but I'm not going to overstay my welcome today. As you can see, I am red on INO. Uh, this one got me for $8,000. I had three trades on it and three losses. So my first trade was right out of the gates right here on this for the break of 2650. It was a micro pullback. I was looking for it to snap through that level and I took 10,000 shares. So I stopped out of that with uh, a $4,000 loss. I then got back in right here and then stopped out as it dropped back down right here. I then got back in right here and stopped out right here and I I just, I wasn't doing dip trades on this, I was doing breakout trades. But I didn't really get into the zone of feeling comfortable doing dip trades on it, just because some of these dips were, I don't know, just felt like really big and it was breaking support levels. So I don't know, I, I'm a little annoyed that I didn't trade this better because it's up significantly from my first entry points, but it was not, I mean, this breakout ended up actually being good on this ABCD setup, and this one was okay. But the ones that I traded right in here just kept not working very well. So it is what it is. It's 
you know, sometimes you have the right idea and your timing's a little off and, you know, that's going to be the difference between being green and being red on some of those trades. So, uh, so that would have been a nice entry on the ABCD pattern. So pull back to there and the breakout right there. So I can also add that one to the uh, classes. So first I'll do um, flat bottom breakdown on what was what stock was that PHCF and then uh, we'll have the the flat top set up there as well. So anyways, um, yeah, kind of an interesting day here. A little frustrating on that trade. Now EKSO was a pretty good one and this one actually started pre-market uh, with my first trade now I can't remember it was oh I, I was gonna get in here for this double top break at five I missed my entry I got in at 510 so I bought it at 510 and it squeezed up to 535 it then pulled back first one minute candle to make a new high right there and it pops up from 529 up to 548 does another pullback right here rips up through 550 and that was a clean trade up to a high of 585, 585, topped out on one minute false breakout right here, and then sold off. At the open, popped up, dropped down, and then ripped right here. And I took this trade and was holding into the halt. It resumed and squeezed up to a high of 690. Then it pulled back, came back up a little bit here, but it has now faded again. Uh, so on that one, $25,000 in total profit, generally trading these uh, pullbacks, 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 and selling into the breakouts. APVO, I didn't trade this one pre-market, had very light volume. I actually didn't take a trade on it until uh, right here. This was where I took my first trade. Uh, no, sorry, I took a trade on it right here and I lost 500 bucks. I tried to do a break of view app setup, lost 500 and was done. Or maybe it was right here, I can't remember. It was one of these two spots. I then got back in it uh, through here, and this gave us a squeeze up to uh, 920, kind of a dramatic drop back down to 840. And then as it ripped up right here, I bought 20,000 shares and was holding into the halt 21,000 shares long. So I was already up into the halt, it resumed, I added for the break of 10, and it squeezed up here to a high of 1015 and then 1025. I took it off the table and uh, finished uh, up $23,000 $23, on that stock. And that was just in this move right here. Uh, that, so that made up the 500 that I lost previously. And then VC, $1,000 on this one. Hit the high day Momo scanner. You can see this little pullback. I actually got in it um, a little on the higher side up here. It was opening up, I bought a micro pullback on the one minute and it squeezed up to a high of 90. So a small profit on that. And then back to INO, which is my biggest um, disappointment today is it's continuing higher. But, you know, it was um, it was just, it was, it was really choppy. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it doesn't look it, but um, I mean, this was an entry that was aggressive at 47 and it didn't break and I took 10,000 shares. I thought it was gonna rip right away. I mean, I just, I really thought it was gonna rip through that pre-market pivot and I was wrong. So I, I took 10,000 shares because I'd had some good profit on it from um, yesterday, $9,000. I then got back in and then flushed down, stopped out, uh, tried another trade back here through 27 and stopped out again. So I just felt like, man, I'm, I'm not dialed in on this one and then I didn't go back to it during this period here. So it is the way it, it's, it is what it is. Sometimes that's how it goes, but I'm happy with the day and uh, we'll live to trade another day. So of course I'll be back at it first thing tomorrow. And the good news here today is that uh, summer school students, we can jump into summer school classes a little on the earlier side um, this morning. So uh, we'll get into summer school. We'll keep going through the, the curriculum. Those of you who may have missed a couple of classes, um, all the classes are uh, recorded, so you can go back and watch the recordings. Nice five minute setup on NNVC and PHCF. Nice to see it squeezing back up to the high, but uh, again, I don't want to overstay my welcome. APVO, bouncing a little off those lows, so be interesting to see how um, how, how some of these finished today, but 
in any case. Today, it, it kind of feels like we've been in a little bit of a hot, cold market where Monday was cold. Uh, I was actually red on the day. Tuesday was hot. I was up 62,000 or so. Yesterday was a little colder. I was up 15 and then lost 10, was up only five. And uh, today, I had about uh, $20,000 of profit on EKSO, but at that time I had an $8,000 loss here, so I was only up 12,000 on the day. And I was kind of like, eh, it's not really feeling like a really great day. And then I got that one trade on APVO that gave me uh, 20 plus thousand dollars of profit. So that ended up, you know, turning the day around. So, well, you know, adding some nice profit to the day. So anyways, that's it for me. And um, I will see you guys back at it first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Help us hit 750,000 subscribers by hitting that subscribe button and stay tuned and check out some of my other awesome uploads right here on YouTube.